So the cage system fundamentally is talking about major chords, but what happens when they're minor? Now you may know an E minor chord, a D minor chord, and an A minor chord, but have you wondered why you don't know how to play a C minor or a G minor open? Well, that's because there's a problem that happens when we turn our major cage forms into minor. So here's the E form, we can move that anywhere. The third is what makes the chord major. We're gonna flat that by just taking that off. Now it's a minor chord. And then on the A form, the third is where your pinky is. Drop that down a fret and you have an A minor form. And then here's the D form. Take this one, flat that, and we got D minor. Well, you probably know that shape already as an open D minor chord. But what happens when we do that on the C chord? There's a third here and there. So if we have to flat both of those, we can't do it. We lose strings. So we end up with a kind of a weird shape that's impossible to get the number of strings that we want. Now for the G form, we have a third here and there. If we flat those, again, we lose strings. So that's why the most common minor shapes are the E form, the A form, and the D form, all minor.